Hi there. This is Ronnie coming at you with uh, the first of two um, review overviews of recently purchased RPG products. And the first one I want to talk about is this. This is Dungeon Slayers. Uh, this is the fourth edition um, by Christian Kinnick. Uh, I got this from Chronicle City. Um, there are some problems with Chronicle City at the moment, so um, I'm not sure whether you can still get it from them. Uh, the link that I'll post with this video is for the actual website. Now, the PDF of this game you can get for nothing. Um, and you can decide for yourself whether you want to print it off or not. game itself has been pretty much set up to be a, a beer and pretzel style dungeon crawler. At least that was the inception of it. Um, I made up two characters today. I made up an elven mage and a human fighter. And the two of them took me half an hour. For the both. Um, very, very quick game. Very easy. Uh, there are three attributes. Body, movement and mind. Each of those have a pair of traits associated with them. Body has... Uh, strength and constitution, movement has agility and dexterity, and mind has intellect and aura. Uh, you spend 20 points into your three attributes, with none uh, being allowed to go above eight, uh, and then eight points into the that you can split around these six uh, traits, none of them going above four, at least not initially. Um, there are talents that you can buy. These are essentially uh, feats, or uh, for those who play Savage Worlds, edges. Um, you get 10 gold pieces, which I don't think is quite enough, but, you know, 10 gold pieces to buy some stuff. You get some static stuff. Uh, and you're off. The game system is straightforward. It's slightly counterintuitive, but it's straightforward enough. Um, most tests that you will require to do will be based on some addition of one of your attributes and one of your traits. Uh, that will give you a target number that you have to roll uh, equal to or lower than. Um, everything works off one 20 sided die, which makes it kind of quick. Combat is where it gets slightly counterintuitive. With combat, you are, again, you have a, a, a combat score that you are looking to roll under, but you're really looking to roll as close to your combat number as possible. For example, if you have a combat rating of 14 for melee, so you will roll your 20-sided die. You're looking to roll under 14, but if you roll, say, 6, that does 6 damage. If you roll a 9, that does 9 damage. So, you know, you, you're not looking to roll as far away from it as possible. You're looking to roll as close as damn it. Um, the only exception to this is called a coup, which is if you roll a natural 1. If you roll a natural 1, then your strike hits with the maximum amount of damage. So, again, if your combat rating is 14 and you roll a 1, you would hit with a 14. Obviously, uh, certain weapons and situations can uh, give you pluses. Uh, magic is similarly skill set with a, a similar system. Um, what's in this version that wasn't in previous editions? Uh, basically, more. Uh, more weapons, more talents, some more skills, options, and so on. Uh, a very, very brief sort of world called Kera, um, which runs to, if it's if it's a half dozen pages, um, and it's 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 not much. I mean, it's it's an absolute bare bones gazetteer of a of a fantasy world, but it's enough to stick your head in. Um, what do I think about this? I really like it, and I'll tell you why. Um, 
first of all, I, I have been constantly and consistently searching for the perfect beginner role-playing game. Now, in terms of uh, depth and options um, to really immerse a player straight in, uh, I still think of the current crop of games that I've seen and dealt with, Dragon Age still is is kind of number one at the moment for me for for a beginner game. This, however, I would call you know if you want to call Dragon Age a sort of interesting first step, this is almost an interesting first half step. It's also great if you happen to have an evening where the GM hasn't shown up, you're screaming the place down, no one's got any of them, someone pulls out uh, Dungeon Slayers, which as I say, this, this version comes in this nice little A5 kind of pocket style. Um, someone pulls it out, everyone rolls characters, as I say, it takes 20 minutes. And I say roll characters, it's all point by, so you know, it's a bing, 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 20 minutes character, quick dungeon, you know, go for it. Or quick wilderness adventure, go for it. Are there problems with it? Um, no, in terms of what it wants to do. Yes, in terms of if you're looking to expand. Um, there is a very good bestiary in here. There's a lot of creatures. Um, greedy bugger that I am, I always want more. But, you know, there's, there's plenty of you just that sort of fantasy tropes are here. Um, would love to see more about the, the, the game world, but, you know, what's there is enough to get started, and if you want to flesh bits out, you know, do it your damn self. Um, I suppose the only sort of major sort of niggle, and it is a niggle, is the, um, combat system is not intuitive. It's pretty straightforward, and after a a few goals, you'd be fine with it, but it's not particularly intuitive. Um, it would take, you know, it doesn't take much to get over that hurdle, but it's there. Um, but given that you can get this PDF for free, quite legitimately, for free, and you can. Uh, there, there, there's lots of little adventures and little uh, extra bonus PDFs that you can get on this uh, website as well. Given all of that, I think it's a great buy. I really do. Um, I don't know what's going to happen about the print-on-demand version. Um, I hope they get something sorted because I, I, I really like the, uh, the the quality of this. Maybe maybe they will end up doing something um, with the print-on-demand with uh, Drive-Thru RPG. But in the meantime, it's probably cheaper to sort of print it out and get it printed by yourself. I mean, I bought this for like, it was like 15, 16 pound, thereabouts. A couple of quid more for post and packing. Um, and it's not bad. If you're looking for something quick, and simple for a beer and pretzel style game. If you're looking for something that uh, could introduce brand new players, and I mean players who've never, maybe never even went near a game in years, let alone a role playing game or adventure game, this would actually be a good start. Uh, as I say, combat system takes a little getting used to it, but it's not impossible. It's nowhere near impossible, you know. It's a small hurdle, and easily leapt over. Uh, but it's good. It's very good. I'm very pleased to have this, and I'm quite uh, keen to use it. So those are my thoughts on Dungeon Slayers. As I say, I will put the link for the uh, the actual website, and you can have a gander. Uh, really like it, and it's well worth your time.